Langchain is a framework that allows you to build applications using large language models. In this video tutorial, we will see what is Langchain and what kind of problems does it address. So here you can see a complete block diagram. Let me explain you this block diagram step by step. In the first part, you can see ChatGPT, which is an application. Like there are many other applications as well. So ChatGPT is just an application which makes call to open AI API or so ChatGPT makes a call to open AI API internally and open AI API internally makes a call to GPT models like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. So ChatGPT is just an application which makes a call internally to open AI API and open AI API also makes a call internally internally to GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 which are large language models. So chat GPT is just an application while GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 are large language models. So chat GPT is not you can say a large language model. Chat GPT is just an application which makes a call internally to open AI API and Open AI API makes a call internally to GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 model. So GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 are large language models. So we know that GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 are large language models. And we know that large language models can do multiple tasks like they can write poems, they can provide summary of the if we just pass some paper, it will give me the summary or if it can also do text summarization, it can also translate the text from French to English, or it can write me letter, or if I want, it can also generate essays for me. So large language models can do multiple tasks. Okay, so GPT 3.5, GPT 4 are large language models, and they can provide me a summary of a book. Uh, I, will, I will just provide the name of the book, and they will provide me the summary of that book. So I was want to design a book summary generator application, so I just want to create a Streamlit app like you can see over here in the first block diagram. So I will just uh, in, in the book summary, uh, book summary generator application, I will just write the name of the book and the application will provide me the summary of that book. So it will help me to choose whether I should read the book or not by just reading the summary. It makes me, it uh, makes easy for me to decide. So if I just write the name of the book as Alchemist, it will provide me the summary of the Alchemist book. Okay. So if I just want to create a book summary generator application, so I will use the same architecture as ChatGPT uses. So book summary generator is an, just an application. Internally, it makes a call to open AI API and open API, open AI API internally makes a call to large language models, which are GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. So uh, as I write the name of the book, uh, like for example, Alchemist, so the, app, the book summary generator application makes a call to open AI API and open AI API internally makes a call to large language model either GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 and they provide me the summary of that book the user has asked for example I have asked for the alchemist book it will provide the summary of the alchemist book so GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 will provide me the summary of that book and I will just display that summary to the book summary generator application which I have created. So book summary generator is just an application while GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 are large language models. So we have seen that how we can create a book summary generator using a GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. But there are some issues of, uh, of this approach like there are some limitations of this approach. So if you want to create an, your application like book summary generator and you want to get data from GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, these are large language models and to, after getting the data from these models, you want to display in your Streamlit app or Flask app. First of all, it's not free. Open AI API are not free. You have to pay some cost like first of all, uh, like for 1000 tokens, you have to pay $0.002. You can just go to open AI pay page and you can just check these details as well. Uh, plus, if you uh, this, if there is a startup that are creating some product and if they uh, face some funding issue, so that is not good because open AI API is not free. 
you have to pay uh, if you want to use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 model in your application. Plus, second uh, second point, J Chat GPT does not or GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 models does not answer latest questions because GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 models are trained till September 2021 data. So they have no access to the real time knowledge. So if you want to uh, incorporate some latest information, let's say uh, from Google, uh, Google or Wikipedia or so or from somewhere else, you cannot get that because uh, through GPT 3.5 or GPT 4, they do not provide the real time knowledge. Uh, or for example, if I ask them who won uh, who won the World Test Championship 2023, uh, ChatGPT will uh, or GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 models will not be able to answer because they are trained till September 2021 data. Okay. Uh, third point, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 does not have access to my internal organization data. So, uh, if I ask how many employees joined my company, for example, APC last month. GPT 3.5, GPT 4 will not be able to answer because they don't have access to my internal organizational data. So they don't have access to my private data sources. So this is one of the issue. Uh, plus I cannot incorporate latest information from Google, Wikipedia or some any other site. Okay. So we don't have the real time knowledge. Plus we cannot get access data from other data sources. Thus there is a cost issue. So if you want to just pull data from GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 or display into your application, you have to pay some price like 0 0.00 dollars, 2 dollars for 1000 tokens. So these are the limitations and we just need a framework that can solve all these limitations. So we have seen the limitations of open AI API, which is GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 models. So OpenAI API is not enough to build an app based on large language model. Therefore, uh, we always need a framework where you can call GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 models if you want or if you want to just save the cost, you can call some open source models such as Hugging Face or uh, Bloom. There are many other models available in the lang chain if you just click on the models part. Okay. so. We should need a framework there. We should provide plugin and play support. Like if I just want to uh, integrate Hugging Face model instead of GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 or, or simply open AI. So it should provide this support so that I can integrate Hugging Face or some other models as well. So I don't need to update my complete code. Uh, this, this should be a framework where I just should write open AI Hugging Face. I just replace the name and I will be able to integrate other models. So if I just want to save the cost, I can use Hugging Face or if I have the budget, I can use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And my code should remain the same. So we just need this framework. Plus this framework should also provide integration with Google Search, Wikipedia. So I can just get real time information from Google Search or uh, Wikipedia. So the, uh, that framework should have integration with Google Search, Wikipedia as Wikipedia APIs as well or it can also provide me integration with my own organization data or some custom data as well so so that we can uh, uh, so that our application can pull data from uh, various data sources okay so and this framework is langchain so you can using langchain you can just gather data from a google wikipedia or your own data sources plus you can use OpenAI, GPT 3.5, GPT 4 models, or if you want to save the cost, you can use Hugging Face, Bloom, and many other models. Like if you just go to the Langchain uh, quick starter page, you can see that it provides sports for many different models, including OpenAI, Hugging Face, Bloom, and there are so many other models. Plus, you can also gather data from Google, Wikipedia, and from your own data sources. And that framework name is Langchain. So in the coming tutorials, we will go to Langchains in more detail as well so that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have learned something from this video tutorial see you in the next video till then bye bye